So the Deadman tournament has officially started and like most people I am kicking it off with agility. Um, I have a plan that I'm going to follow so I'll get to that in a minute but um, as you see some people weren't so lucky and misclicked and died right at the start so I picked up some cheeky runes there, get some magic XP. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll be recording all my progress and uploading that as well. Um, this first episode should be roughly the first 24 hours of Deadman so it might be day 2 by the time this is uploaded. Or maybe even day 3. Who knows, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, so if you don't already know, I am playing this tournament solo. I don't have any secondary accounts, I don't have a clan or any teams or anything. Um, I'm pretty much Iron Man in it, so I'm sure that'll make things a bit more interesting. Uh, but anyway, on to the plan. To sum it up, I pretty much aim to have the Watchtower quest and the Death to Dorgashin quest completed as fast as possible, because uh, that gives me access to a few decent areas and like the ham store rooms is a good money source. I also want to get Dragon Slayer started for the anti-dragon fire shield. Um, even though you don't need it for Watchtower, I just want to guarantee that I don't get one banged by a blue dragon. Um, so pretty much I need to get the items, the levels and the quest points all as efficiently as possible. The only thing I am slightly worried about is the 10k. Since I didn't start off with the stronghold, I might struggle going in later, because um, people will have magic by then and will probably be camping Barbarian Village. But anyway, I'll speak to you as we make more progress, and so let's go. So this is the last lap for 30 agility, which is more than enough for what we need in the beginning anyway. Uh, so we can be on our way now, and just on the way out we'll use these runes on the gnomes to get some magic levels. Alright, so magic's going up pretty quickly, but I'm also taking a lot of damage. Now, I don't want some cretin to come spec me out with a bronze dagger on the way to Ardy, so I'm going to save the rest of the runes for later, and just make our way down with our bread. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't know about the men and women upstairs next to the Ardy general store, uh, but that's where I'm going to be getting five thieving, and then we can move on to the cakes and have some nice food gains. There we go, that's two inventories of food done, and we ended up on a thieving level of 26 when we only needed 23, so no problems there. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but hopefully it'll see us through. Might as well rain hell on Skill Specs' family while we're here. Um, I also bought a couple ropes from the shop, they'll be handy for the quests we're going to do. And after this, we'll move down south for the monk's friend, and we'll get our mining up as well. This mine is perfect for me, not only because I can get 1 to 17 mining, but I can also get all the items for Dork's quest out the way early as well. Um, so that's that done, and now we'll go up, finish Monk's quest, I mean Monk's friend, and we'll pick up the candle from the monastery as well, because we'll be needing that. Careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the movie Project X, this is pretty much the sequel. So, yeah. Job done, got some juicy laws. I also trained my range up a bit on the Monk's, um, 14 woodcutting as well. Eh, don't need that, but whatever, it's safe for us to home tally now, so see you at Lumbridge. Right, so I'm going to start the Rune Mysteries quest, start the Restless Ghost quest, then I'm going to be using the training bow and arrows to get to 28 range for the bone crossbow. Once I've got that, I'm going to go speak to Father Ernie on the way to Wizard's Tower, speak to Sedridor in the Wizard's Tower for the Rune Mysteries quest. While I'm near Draenor, I'm going to start the Vampire Slayer quest, Pick up the garlic. On the way to Varrock, I'm going to pick up all these items like cheese, onions, red berries, cadaver berries, all that good stuff. Um, complete Romeo and Juliet, and then go get the 10k. That's everything in my head at this very moment. That's what I'm going to do right now. Everything you just heard me say two seconds ago, that's it done. Simple. Um, except I did not get 28 range, I did run out of arrows, so when we get back to Lumbridge, I'll have to pick up more and train that up again. Um, but now we can go and get the 10k. Run. Fuck off. I've decided to leave the 10k for later, not sure how I'm going to get on without it, but um, we're going to continue on with now, that's the Restless Ghost completed. So that's me now about halfway through the Lost Tribe quest, um, on my way up to Varrock I'm going to pick up all the meat you need for Druidic Ritual, and then once we're in Varrock I'll train my range up a bit because I just got more arrows, and also I might give the 10k another shot, hopefully we get it this time. Alright, that's 28 range out of the way, now we can use a bone crossbow once we unlock it. Um, we got a couple prayer levels off the bones as well, which is quite nice, and we are now going to go and try and get that 10k. I'm using Blake as my human shield at the moment, if there's anyone there he'll lure them out. Oh god damn it! Run Blake! You know what, I don't even care anymore, I need that 10k so badly I'm just going to try and tank it. So this could be a stupid idea, but we'll see. Hello? Hello? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Um... Okay, uh, run! <laughs> I'm gonna make a break for it. Run! Oh dear. Uh, this could be the moment we get the 10k. Let's go. 
Oh shit, there he is. Oh no, uh, run. I'm gonna have to answer these questions as quickly as possible now. Like, my life depends on it, because actually my life does depend on it. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, quick, there we go. Oh shit, run, run, run. I am scared for my life right now. Oh man, um, I, I just have to keep calm. Keep calm. And... Oh wait, he's gone away. Why is he gone away? Oh, okay, good. He's probably gonna teleport to the middle. I gotta be extra careful when we get to the middle. Together we made it. See, we did it, nigga. Alright, back on the quest grind now. We're gonna complete Dark's quest, Druidic Ritual, Witch's House, and Goblin Diplomacy, all just on the next step of the Lost Tribe. So, let's go do that. Alright, that's everything and the Lost Tribe completed. Um, we'll just get straight into the death to Dorgashin, I think. So, let's spend a good three hours pickpocketing ham members for two full sets of ham. Oh yes, uh, cool, that's the cape I needed. Um, Alright, that only took 20 minutes, which is amazing. That, I swear to god, that took me two hours on my Iron Man. Um, okay, so that saves us a lot of time, that's... Oh, I'm happy with that. Death to the Dorgashin is now finished, um, so that gives me access to the Ham storerooms, it gives me access to the whole Dorgash Khan city. Um, the Ham storerooms are good, because even if I die now, I can easily rebuild just by using the storerooms for money. Um, so I think I'll go do two trips of that now for some starting cash, and then I'll do Ernest the Chicken, Vampire Slayer while I'm there, and yeah. Alright, so that is Ernest the Chicken and Vampire Slayer done, uh, giving us 31 quest points, so we need one more to start Dragon Slayer. Um, just so you know, I will be keeping one diamond amulet, I mean, one diamond amulet to myself so I can enchant that for an amulet of power, um, just until I get a glory. If I do get a glory, I don't know how long it'll take for them to be around, but yeah, let's go sell these jewels. 30k cash, not bad at all, that allows us to buy some runes. I'm going to buy an Eye and Newt pack just so I can get my Herblore up later for Watchtower quest. Uh, you need 14 for that so that'll come in handy for all the guams I pick up. Alright, we have runes, now I'm buying a crossbow and a shit ton of bolts for that and we can finally start getting our levels up. Welcome to my top secret training spot. This place is absolutely amazing. These giant frogs, they drop nature runes, uh, which I can use to alsh at the ham store rooms so I don't have to travel to Port's room to sell my jewellery. That's good, they drop big bones. Great prayer XP, they drop cosmic runes so I can enchant the jewellery if I need to. Um, they also drop giant frog's legs. Yeah, try try that again. Giant frog's legs, which you can sell in Gnome Stronghold to an NPC for 1k each. So all round just amazing training spot. That's me been here a little while and in comes 55 magic. Uh, got 23 prayer as well, 43 hit points at the moment. We're gonna move on to range because my runes are just about out. My inventory is almost full with giant frog's legs, so that is looking just beautiful. Um, 29 range at the moment, I might try doing long range to get defense up as well, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, my range pretty much sucked training at Giant Frogs because it was too low, so I've just been training here instead. Um, just about got 40 range now, and then I'll go to Cook's Assistant, and then that allows me to start Dragon Slayer, and I can buy green dehyde chaps and vams from the shop there. That's us kitted out like a boss now. We got our green dehyde, we got our coif, we got our dragon shield. It's the only dragon shield I've seen in the game so far, I don't think anyone's been questing at all to get Dragon Slayer done. Um, but yeah, I need to get ready for Watchtower now, so I need to get 14 Herblore. For that I need to get a bunch of Guam leaves, uh, so I've been killing some men for some of them. I need to get Dragon Bones, so I'll go, uh, yeah, I'll go kill a green dragon for some Dragon Bones. Um, I'm gonna do another trip at the Ham Store Rooms just for a bit more money. While Alkin at the Ham Store Rooms, I got 57 Mage, so I'm now going to enchant my Diamond Amulet that I kept into an Amulet of Power. This is Hudo in the Gnome Stronghold, by the way, who you sell your giant frog's legs to. Uh, so they're 1k each, that's now 19k in the pocket. Um, he also sells Chocolate Dust, I'll be using that for Herblore in the future, I don't need it just yet. And also these Gnome Waiters here, they sell like, I don't know, pre-made chocolate bombs and tangled toad legs. They're pretty good, they heal 15 and the wormholes heal 12. So just when I'm here I pick up some of them, they're cheap and they're better than lobsters, so why not? Alright, so that's me, just got 14 Herblore for the Watchtower quest. Now I just need to get Dragon Bones and 40 Mining and that'll be me good to do the quest. It's always nice seeing an empty world here, I mean even though no one has a Dragon Shield and they shouldn't be here anyway, it just, it feels nice knowing that I'm the only one here. I've just been drop mining iron here, it's next to a safe zone so I'm most likely not to die. Um, so that's me got 40 mining anyway, I'm now able to go down south and do the watchtower quest. That's pretty much the end of the watchtower, it was no problem at all. I probably could, I, well I easily could have done it without the anti-dragon fire shield, but then again I just wanted to be perfectly safe, which is no problem at all. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to do the quest, I've checked the high scores and no one else has like the requirements as well. So yeah, I now have blue da, blah, 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 blue dragons and greater demons to myself, that gives me access to blue dragon hides, rune fool helms, dragon bones, 
um, um, hard clue scrolls as well. So yes, good stuff. So first blue dragon kill, I got a mithril axe drop, which is incredibly lucky because I'm going to be needing that for animal magnetism because I'll be doing that eventually. Um, so yeah, that'll be getting banked and saved for later. So after a couple blue dragon kills, I decided to buy some more runes and come back to the giant frogs. Um, there's 60 magic. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay here for, but we shall soon find out. All right, so I now have 66 magic, which allows me entry to the mage guild in Yanel next to the watchtower. Um, so I can buy runes there, all kinds of runes, which is brilliant. Uh, since I'm past 60, I'm going to be looking into doing the mage arena as well. Um, but before I want to go to the mage arena, I want to make sure I have 200 blood runes because I want to cast Flames of Zamorak in the arena 100 times. So instead of going there, coming back, then going there again, I'm just going to do it all at once. So once I can afford that, I will go do mage arena. Um, so I've got a bunch of natures and giant frogs legs. That's going to be good money. I'm going to do ham store rooms, turn all my natures into cash and head to the blue dragons i'm going to kill them for some prayer xp and then once i got protect from mage i'll probably do mage arena all right that's me all stocked up on runes i bought some mystic boots as well because the hand boots are kind of useless so splash some cash out there i've got the money to spend why not 33k left so we're looking good um head to the blue dragons now well 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 looks like in the time we were away someone was smart enough to do the watchtower and move into our cave Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It is still the only person I've seen so far. Maybe we'll become cave buddies. Who knows? <laughs> In comes 71 magic. As you can tell, I've been here a little while. I've just been fire striking the greater demons and ranging the blue dragons. I also have 55 range and 40 defense, which is nice. Uh, from the bones I've been burying, I got 38 prayer. And I did also get a rune full helmet from the greater demons. That's cool. And a couple alshables as well. So I've been alshing them and I got 10k in my inventory now. Um, but apparently the well one of the top crafters is offering to craft your hides in Ivan braces which I can ask for money so I'm a way to do that now and also I'll be getting a full set of blue dragon hide to wear. So that's me now I'll stall the van braces and got a total cash stack of 50k. I also have blue dragon hide chaps and van braces now. He wasn't a high enough level to make the body but I've got three tanned dragon hide leathers in the bank saved for when he does hit that level and I can get the body. I had a bunch of nature runes, so I've decided to do a couple runs of the ham store rooms to get some more cash, and then hopefully I'll be closer to affording 200 blood runes. I'm pretty sure it should be like 80 to 90k, maybe even 100k for the blood runes. Um, but yeah, doing that for some money. I want to get Slayer up as well, because I need 55 for broad bolts. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever get a rune cross, but we'll have to look into that. But I want 55 Slayer just in case. Wow. That's 200 blood runes bought at the expense of the majority of my cash stack. Uh, I do still have the rune fool helmet so I can ask that to get my cash stack back up to about 30k. Um, I also have a slayer task, it's 94 hill giants which is a really good task to get. Um, I'm going to do that now because I need 18 at least for animal magnetism so that'll be helpful and I'll train my range up a bit on that as well. That's the task pretty much over, it's been really good for us, um, we've got up to 60 range, 50 defense, uh, all the big bones have been burying, that's got us to 43 prayer as well. Um, 61 HP, I think we're at like 67 combat or something, and also 1 to 37 Slayer, one task, not bad at all, not bad. Okay, so to do the Mage Arena, I need to kill a bunch of enemies with Mage only, so I'm just doing the Ham Store Rooms again to get some money for some Fire Bolts, and then we'll go do Mage Arena. There's actually quite a few people here right now, which is kind of worrying, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, so that's round one completed. We're going to have to grab our runes from the bank and head back in for round two. Um, I'm going to choose the Flames of Zamorak spell with the Zami Cape. Reason for that is because if you use Flames of Zamorak on someone, their magic goes down by five. So if someone's trying to Ice Barrage me and I attack them with Flames of Zamorak, they won't be able to Ice Barrage me anymore, and that takes our damage down a whole lot. So that'll be really useful, hopefully. Alright, so that's 100 casts done inside the arena. We can now use Flames of Zamorak outside the arena and... Once we get charged, we can start hitting 30s, which is really cool. Um, no one attacked us in the arena. That was easier than I thought. So, yeah. Right, so now that Mage Arena is done, I need to bust out the skills for Animal Magnetism. I want to get that done before people start camping Canifus. Um, that'll be good. I need to tank out 18 Mage so I can get charged. And then I need cash for PK and supplies. And, yeah, a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so once you've completed Death to the Dorgashin, you can unlock this guy. And what he does is he takes two Law Runes and one Molten Glass and he'll make that into a Teleport Orb. Um, using this Teleport Orb, it'll teleport you to a random place in this city. So since no one uses this city, it's pretty much a guaranteed safe area. So basically on every PK trip, I'll have some of these with me. And if I get Scald or whatnot and I need to go to a safe area, I will just teleport here and camp out the Skull. Alright, that's me back at the Giant Frogs now. Got just under 1800 
100 fire strikes left and that's 74 mage coming in. Um, I'm just going to camp out these fire strikes and see how close we get to 80 with that. I'll easily make my money back on the frog's legs and the nature runes. So yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, so that's me coming down to the last couple of runes. Um, it got me up to 76 magic, which isn't quite 80. We still have a bit to go there. Um, so we'll see what happens. Might come back here with more runes. Um, I'm pretty much at the top of the leaderboard for magic, which is awesome, considering that's not what I've been trying to do. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm up to 45 prayer from burying the bones. 64 HP, nearly 65. So yes. Okay, so I've done a trip of the ham store rooms. I'm just on my way to trade in my giant frog's legs for my cash. Uh, I'm going to buy some food and then I need to pretty much handcraft all the items for animal magnetism to get that out of the way. Oh, it's been a sweaty 24 hours, I'll tell you that. Oh, I've pretty much got everything out of the way now. I just remembered that I have to do priest and pearl as well to actually do animal magnetism. So I'm just mining the rune essence now and I'll get that out of the way. And then animal magnetism, I am coming for you. Priest and Pearl, done. I had to do three trips for the Rune Essence just to make sure I didn't die, but hey, I was safe. On the Animal Mat. <laughs> I can never say that right. Animal Magnetism, let's go. Alright, Animal Magnetism is finally done. I've got my backpack and an additional reward. I can finally go get a little bit of sleep. Um, I'm also ending the episode on Rank 1 Magic, which is absolutely crazy. I'm happy with that. Um, oh, see you tomorrow.